save money on food. Everyone likes to save a little bit of money. So that's what we're going to talk about here. And I'm going to talk about saving money with your family and as individuals. But then we're going to expand that into a global impact on food and agriculture. So popping some statistics. Food waste per person. According to marketwatch.com in June of 2018, Food for Thought is the title of this article, 40%, 40% of groceries are thrown out every year. 40% of what you pick up in the store ends up in the trash. That's huge. Americans throw away $165 billion in wasted meals each year. I did a quick little math for you. That is $500 per person per year. So let's take a look at that. If you're a household of two people, that's $1,000 per year of food. You go to the store, you take your hard-earned money, you buy the food, you take it home, and you throw it in the trash, and it ends up in a landfill. That's, that's amazing, right? So then if you add a child to it, so now you have a child that's $1,500 a year for a family. Two children, that's $2,000 per year that you've just thrown in the trash. And I know for some people that is the case. I've had patients of mine in my office tell me, I need to go home and clean out the fridge. Clean out the fridge. What does that mean? Is there was stuff that was bought and either never opened or used, or stuff that was open and never finished, and, and all the stuff gets tossed away. Okay? That is a huge uh, stress on the environment. More on that in just a minute. But think about the money savings if it's... Just on average, a family of four, $2,000 per year that you just throw out the door. The point is, is shop more carefully. Only buy the things that you need. And if you're going to do the storm stock up, make sure that you're stocking up on foods that aren't perishable. Like maybe some canned foods to last you for several days if the power is going to be out or something like that, right? So just be really, really careful for the food that you're, that you're spending for. We already know that if you're going to be buying produce, and by the way, fruits and vegetables, fruits and vegetables are the most common foods to be thrown away because if you buy some and then it deteriorates, then you're going to throw it away. So maybe you're going to have to go to the grocery store if you're close to them a little bit more frequently to buy smaller amounts. But that's going to save you a huge amount of money, again, $2,000 per year for a family of four in the United States. This is a video you don't want to miss. A, a, a video that I just watched from Tristan Stewart. It was a TED Talk, September 17th of 2012. Western countries throw out nearly half of their food, not because it's inedible, but because it doesn't look appealing. Now, don't miss this. It's a short TED Talk, a handful of minutes long, and he talks about how foods that are thrown away just at the farm. So the farm will harvest their foods, and if the potatoes aren't at a certain way, or there's a little neural on it here, and it's bent out of shape, or whatever, it's just simply tossed away. It never even makes it to market. It's completely, totally edible, but they know that the supermarket won't carry it, as an example. Huge waste of food. So a lot of these organizations, environmental organizations and so forth, will actually go and divert that food from being thrown in the landfill and then feeds, uh, supplies soup kitchens as an example, okay? So that's a huge waste, N not about uh, the stuff you buy at a store, but just opening up the discussion to the, the global impact of what we're doing. Here's another article from The Guardian by Oliver Millman, April 18th of 2018. Americans waste 150,000 tons of food each day, which is equal to a pound per person, which is a third of the calories that each American consumes. As I said, fruit and vegetables are the most common ones to be thrown away, and then dairy and then meat. The Motley Fool online, 80 billion tons of food are thrown away per year. The average household throws out $640 of food each year. 76% of Americans admit to throwing out le leftovers on a monthly basis. Most of these calculations, by, a way, by the way, are not even uh, talking about when we all go to a restaurant, we order too much food that we're not going to consume, and either you don't take the leftovers home, or if you take the leftovers home and don't consume them, you throw them away. And even if you go to the restaurant, order more than you're going to consume, 
Then you take it home in packaging, then the packaging has to be produced. That's a stressor on the environment and so forth. So the suggestion here is when you're going out for, for food is to order more carefully. Maybe let's say you're a couple, maybe you share an appetizer and share a meal. So that would be enough food for you. <clears throat> I have a, a, a f friends that are from Scotland and when they moved here to the United States, they couldn't believe the volume of food that is served on average at a regular restaurant. When they ordered the appetizers and salad, they thought that their, when they first moved here, they thought that their meal was finished and then the entree came. They just couldn't believe the size of the portions here. So the point is, is when you're ordering food at a restaurant, order more carefully. It's going to save you money and it's going to save a lot of stress on the environment. New York Times by Somini Sengupta, uh, December 12th of 2017. How much food do we waste? Probably more than you think. Globally, now we're just opening this again to global terms, we throw, throw out about 1.3 billion tons of food per year, or a third of all the food that we grow. And that's important for two reasons, she says. The less the world wastes, the easier it will be, meet, be uh, uh, available to meet the food needs of the global population in coming years. We're at 7.5 billion people right, right now, and we're gonna, where it's projected we're gonna grow to 9 billion and then possibly even, even 12 billion people per year huge stress in the environment and as you know we're cutting down rainforests to create more land to grow crops which unfortunately we feed a lot of those crops to cattle and chickens and pigs instead of eating the crops directly another another show we need to do on that second cutting back on waste could go a long way to reducing greenhouse gas emissions and the last point that i want to make about the stressors on the environment uh, and this is from the nature the, the journal called nature one third of our greenhouse gas emissions comes from agriculture. The point is, is this. If you want to save money in your household, shop more carefully. When you go out to eat, choose more carefully, share more meals, because agriculture is one third of the production of greenhouse gases on the planet. I'm Dr. Scott Fuller. Please join me again.